Okay, so first thing, the colour. In what Mandela effect of a universe is the Palace of Agrabah white? Agrabah Palace in the Aladdin animated movie. Tan. Agrippa Palace in official Disney merchandise. Tan. Agrippa Palace mocks. Tan. Agrippa Palace in the live action movie. Tan. But why is the Lego version white? I don't hate it as much as I thought I would. This is a gorgeous model of the Palace of Agrippa. Hello everyone, welcome to Second Brick to the Left. Here we talk about Lego set news, reviews and tips. Before we dive in, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. In today's video, we'll be doing a full review of the Lego Mini Disney Palace of Agrabah. It was released in October 2023 and has an item number of 40613. It has 506 pieces. We'll look at the packaging and contents, the instructions, details, the build experience, minifigures, price, and then I'll give my overall thoughts. So let's get into it. The box is a good size and I do like the design. It's got a clear image of the set and the colour is really nice. The magic sparkles in the background are a nice effect. On the back, some of the details are highlighted, like the flying carpet and Jasmine's balcony. There's also a picture of the palace from Aladdin. There are six bags of pieces, which includes two bags labelled one, one bag labelled two, two bags labelled three, and a final bag with plates. There is a single instruction booklet, and there are no stickers. <laughs> the instruction booklet is fairly simple in its design. However, there's no QR code for earning insider points on this set. I think that's a little bit cheeky considering the price. There's no additional information inside the book either, you're pretty much straight into the build. This is a gorgeous model of the Palace of Agrabah. There are numerous golden dome roofs that sit atop elegant towers. I really like the way a lot of these towers look. However, the main domed roof could have been bigger and more curved. It looks not unlike a UFO. Princess Jasmine's balcony is lovely. And this is printed. There's some really nice shapes and details on there. I love the inclusion of the curtains. There's a nice brick built magic carpet with a magic lamp. I won't be too harsh about the scale because I do think it's a cute addition to the set. The rock formations around the base look great and the small trees add some colour. The pond is really pretty too. Okay, we have to talk about the colour. I brought this up in previous videos, but the Palace of Agrabah isn't white. Tan would have been a more accurate colour. However, I don't hate it as much as I thought I would. It does help the golden towers to pop, and in warm lighting, the white isn't as cold and clinical as it looks on the box. The dark red is really nice in this and works so well against the gold. The hints of dark turquoise add some contrast too. Whatever blueprint Lego was using to create this palace actually lines up really well with the 2020 castle collection from Shop Disney. So here is the Lego Agrabah Palace and here is the version from Shop Disney. This was released in 2021 and it's really really cute. Show you the back. And then show you the Lego version, the back. So straight away, we can see a lot of similarities. We start from the front, we've got these two little turrety bit here. We've got the little entranceway there. 
we've got stairs leading up to the main door we've got turrets either side we've got a turret here a turret there bigger one there and teeny tiny one there and we've got the pond there we've also got some of the rock detailing down there as well we've got the big main one the big main turret here and we've got the jasmine's palace here moving around to the side we've got all of this detail in on both of them here we've got more rock details we've got the turret there we've got another little turret there we've got the little detail here we've got a turret there we've got the nice little archway here continuing round we've got another turret here we've got this little platform bit here turret here some more of the rock detail in along there so yeah I think that is pretty awesome I'm really impressed that whatever model they've used they've used the same one this is a fun and varied build it's not super complex but there are some interesting techniques you'll start by building out the base and small walls around the castle followed by the foundations and the stairs to the entrance building these stairs was so weird and interesting i've never built stairs like this before it's really clever are there any other sets that do this Drop me a comment below, I'd like to have a look at them. From there, you'll start to add some of the smaller towers, the pond, the entrance and more walls. And the majority of the third bag is building more towers and the roofs. The final step is to add the flying carpet and lamp. Whilst building the roofs, the different golden pieces did get a little bit confusing at times. A scale would have been really helpful, like how you get with the Technic Axle a few pages on, despite this being the only yellow Technic Axle in the set. I don't think we needed that one, but we certainly did for the roof pieces. Although, if you do mess up with the roof pieces, you'll probably realise when you come to line things up or stick bars into them. There is very little repetition in this set, which is nice. A few of the roofs are similar, but there are lots of little differences, particularly with the towers. I did enjoy this build. So usually when I do a review, I dedicate a section to minifigures or mini dolls, but this set has none which is a real shame considering the other mini sets we've seen in the Disney theme have come with a minifigure or a mini doll. There were so many options here. We've seen Aladdin and Genie as minifigures back in 2016 in the Collectible Minifigures Series 1. Jasmine and Jafar were minifigures in the CMF Series 2 back in 2009 and Genie Jafar was in the Villain Icon set released in 2023. I wouldn't have minded to see any of those minifigures reused here. It was also the perfect opportunity to introduce the Sultan as a minifigure. I'd even take a mini doll. We've seen Jasmine as a mini doll a few times, and even Aladdin once too. Let me borrow Jasmine from another set and see how she looks. She's a nice contrast with the palace's colour palette. I'm tempted to keep her with this set now. If you've seen my worst Lego sets of 2023 video, you might know how I feel about the price of this one as it came third in my worst value set of 2023 category. I did a whole thing comparing it against the other mini Disney builds. And now having built the Palace of Agrabah and Ariel's Castle, I still stand by that. If this wasn't the same price as the other castles in other markets, I might have given the Palace of Agrabah the benefit of the doubt, as there are a lot of metallic gold pieces in the roof, some of which are currently, according to Bricklink, unique and metallic gold to this set, like the dome top with the recessed centre. 
The Palace of Agrabah is heavier than Ariel's castle, but it does feature more solid pieces like 2x4 bricks, which I don't think is going to cost more than some of the intricate transparent pieces that Ariel's castle uses. The Palace of Agrabah is only like £5 more than the other castles, so I'm being really picky, but percentage wise, it's enough to mention. I did buy my version at full price, and I'm not angry about it, although I have seen this discounted before, so if you can get it cheaper, go for it. I did enjoy building this set, and I'm glad I brought it. It does look really good. And although it's not perfect, I can live with the imperfections. If you're an Aladdin fan or a Disney Castles fan, I can recommend this. Ariel's Castle will likely be my next review video. Subscribe so you don't miss that one. I really hope we get more of the Princess Castles in this miniature format. They're stunning and so much fun to build. Well, those are my thoughts. What do you think about the Lego Mini Disney Palace of Agrabah? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more Lego set news reviews and tips. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.